Hello, I'm Jack Haynes from Most Boat Yachting Magazine and I'm down in Poole today because we're adding a vinyl hull wrap to our Geno Cap Camera at 65. The boat has a bit of a tough life, she's 15 years old, we've had her for sort of three or four of them. Uh, she lives on swing mooring here and we regularly have to tie her to a pier with some exposed metal uprights. There was an unfortunate occasion where she broke off her mooring and ended up up on the beach in Poole Harbour. So the hull is bearing a few scars, so we thought the best way to get her looking really good again and quickly and easily is to add a vinyl hull wrap. So the team from Generation Graphics are down here to do the job, but because it's wet and windy, the first thing we need to do is get her inside the shed. The boat's also been sitting out in very heavy rain, so first thing to do is to get it dry and then give it a really good clean so the surface is as clean as possible before the wrap, which is here in roll form, is applied. Obviously the heat gun is used to apply the wrap itself, but also it comes in handy to really properly dry parts of the hull when it's been sitting in rain like it just has been. So after the hull is dried, the next stage of the process is to mount the wrap inside the boat. It's self-adhesive. Tom here is just using a blade to push the air out and then it'll be heated at the end. We've opted for this dark blue wrap. We've seen a few cap cameras in this colour and think they look really good. And we're also going to have a red hull stripe at the bottom to add a bit of visual oomph. The guy's just using a scalpel to unearth the hull fittings from beneath the wrap. But this is where the bilge is empty. So there's water pouring out, which is particularly helpful. Obviously nowhere near finished, but you can start to get an idea of how it will look. Really quite intricate to get it around the hull fittings. The guys have done a great job and you can really see the quality of the finish, get an idea of how it's going to look. It's a laborious process though. Well, a good morning's work from the lads, and we are halfway there. The port hand side is done. It's got a final round of heating to go, which will be done tomorrow, but it looks absolutely fantastic. It's a completely flawless finish, and this is a good opportunity to see the old and the new. Compare the shine of that to the original. a new boat. So with the port side done it's a case of the same again on the starboard side. Here you can see they don't like to leave the join right down the centre of the bow because that's where the most wave pressure is so they do it just off centre and they'll probably overlap around 3 mil and then heat it on. It's the same at the transom and these lines are all freehand. Really quite brilliant craftsmanship. We can't quite get over the shine and no polishing to do. What a joy. So there we go, after a day's hard work, by the chaps from Generation Graphics. She's almost done and looks like a totally different boat. Uh, both hull sides are completed. Uh, tomorrow they're gonna do the red hull stripe. They need to finish part of the bow sections and then the area around the transom, which is quite intricate. But uh, the effect is absolutely fantastic. I can't wait to see what it looks like outside the shed in daylight as well. So bring on tomorrow. With the hatch open, we can get the first real idea of exactly how the blue will look in daylight. 
it looks great. It looks a bit dark inside the shed, a bit, a bit like a black, but get some daylight onto it and you can really see the blue and the quality of the finish. Tom is now on to one of the trickier parts, doing the transom where we've got a outboard mount, and lots of horrible little bits to get the vinyl around. So for obvious reasons, this bit will take some time. So the fiddly starboard side of the transom is now done. You can see there's a little gap around the mount here that you have to fill with sicker because there's a potential that the rack could lift around there. So we'll do that on the anti valve So Ross is now just measuring up for the hull stripe. We've decided to put it 25mm above the anti fouling line there. So it requires a ruler and a lot of tape. The stripe is going to have to break where that skin fitting is, hence starting in this half section and then heading forward from there. So there we have it, job done. Brand new hull wrap fitted and the vinyl stripe and she looks like a totally different boat. What a complete transformation. And it looks great out in the natural light as well. You couldn't quite get a proper grasp of the colour in the shed with the yellow lights, but it's a really nice deep blue. And uh, we're very happy with the red stripe. We're gonna match the anti foul to the colour of the hull as well. Um, so that should look a bit better by the time we come round to the season. Another thing wrapping the hull does is really motivates you to do all the other little jobs so we're going to clear off those other stickers that are up there on the top sides, get them nice and bright again and uh, do the same on the deck and when we come round to the season it'll feel like we've got a brand new boat. Fantastic job by the guys. Yeah.